What'll it be? Is that a trick question? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? I've heard that before. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left the tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Keymaster, huh? Maybe worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Keymaster. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Sure, pal. What is it? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer.
Island has scientists scratching their heads found by a jogger early on Tuesday as he smelled it a mile away the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before they speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures a massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence Rhode Island has scientists scratching their heads Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Oh, 
Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of, um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. Carson? No. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look! I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. Get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimble? Yeah, Gimble. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Freeze, mother. <laughs> Lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Ha ha ha, that's funny. Cut it with the Carson jokes, will ya? In case you didn't notice, this ain't exactly the Tonight Show down here. He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. What? Oh no man, no no no, not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here.
I don't think so. Man. What's shaking? If you're new to town or just new to What? Ain't coming back. What do you mean he ain't coming back? The only girl who's coming over the first thing in the morning, I guarantee. Well, looks like the boys are lighting up. I might have caught the old one. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. The first shot at Doug tonight. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? How many boats do you own, Vigo? 